Hello guys, in this video, we'll learn to build and deploy serverless WebSockets with Cloudflare using Rust. If you have been working with full stack or backend engineering or ever build a chat application, WebSockets is a must. WebSockets enable real-time bi-directional communication between client and server over a single long-lived TCP connection. Or even if the chat systems that we use in our daily life, be it any social media site or any OTA, or ride hailing service where you chat uh, the support most of those uh, apps use web sockets now web sockets we have covered already in a previous video as well uh, where you can use uh, different frameworks in rust to uh, you know write your web sockets and we have covered cloudflare workers in previous videos as well but today we'll be discussing serverless web sockets with cloudflare workers so without further ado let's dive into it and let's start and as we start, there is a link to my Discord in description, so make sure to join it. First of all, let's quickly add the Cloudflare Workers project, which we'll then use to build our WebSockets. So I'll be using uh, Cargo Generate Cloudflare Workers, which I've covered in a previous video, should be popping somewhere on right top in detail, but today we'll just uh, use it. Now the template that we'll use is the Hello World template, and the project name is uh, Sockets. So that's it, our project is ready. Just quickly go ahead and do npx wrangler login to quickly do a login you will be given a url as you can see a redirect url that will redirect to your uh, default browser and just do a simple sign up on your cloudflare account if you already have an account from the previous videos that we have been uh, using it just log into your account and in the new tab if you are not redirected uh, directly you can just do a re uh, login and here you will be asked to allow or deny so simply allow and now get back to your uh, turn and right here as you can see we are successfully logged in now this step we only need if you want to deploy your uh, web socket to the cloudflare workers along with me but if you want to just run it locally then you can skip this step now let's go ahead and move to our project in our project first of all move to the cargo terminal file and right here we need a dependency which is futures since we'll be using some utils so just write it and now move to librs here we have the default patch that we don't need now so let's write our web sockets now right here we'll just quickly add our uh, patch similar to how we get in the default template so patch request request everything from workers so env and ctx as context we don't want to use any of these in the previous videos i have explained uh, what are these so let's quickly add the same and now in a typical websocket connection uh, like we get an upgrade request first to upgrade so we'll just first look for upgrade header request dot headers dot get as you can see get returns as uh, option uh, result of option of string so we want to look for upgrade header and if we find it uh, we just want to unwrap and unwrap or else so basically result and then sum if that's not the case then we just want to return string new now if upgrade header dot equal ignore case if that's not equals to web socket that's what we are looking for if that's not the case then we just return a response saying error and we say expected upgrade web socket and status we can uh, just say 426 which is basically for same purpose 426 is upgrade required now let's go for web socket web socket pair and we'll just use from the workers new client as ws client server as ws server and server dot accept now uh, 
since our Rust code compiles into a assembly, uh, like WebAssembly, when running on the workers. So we want to ensure that we use a WebAssembly future. WebAssembly and gen future, spawn local, and async move let mutable event stream. So because we want to uh, like consume the events to you know reply as well as accept could not open stream while let some event event stream dot next which is from extreme extensions await and match event dot expect received error in websocket event expect received error in websocket and right here now we have to handle our events so websocket event message when we get some message Right here we'll just do response format so right now I'm not building a full flat chat application but you can just use this message if you want to do something but I will just reply with you sent me and then message dot text dot wrap and then we have server dot send the response So we have our event as uh, the message event. Similarly, we can have the close event as well, which we can also consume. So WebSocket uh, close and event. And this one we can just console log. As I mentioned, it compiles to a WebAssembly event. And, and we can just return its response. from WebSocket client and the final thing that we need is on top of this we need event fetch event fetch is an event that triggers by HTTP request and we have other events as well like schedule uh, other stuff now, now let's get a quick overview in case if I missed to explain something let's cover it in this go so we have the upgrade connection to upgrade our uh, WebSocket. If not present, we'll return a upgrade required. And then we have upgrade uh, pair uh, where we get client and server. Server, we want to keep on listening for events and client, we ret return to complete our handshake. So uh, now the handshake is completed and we have our uh, event uh, stream to listen to all the events that we get. Uh, the message is the one that we are more interested in and the close event is also there. So that's pretty much all that we need to literally run our WebSockets on Cloudflare Workers. Now let's go ahead and first run it on our local before we deploy. And right here in our terminal, you can just do npx wrangler dap. So it's done. And if we scroll a bit up, right here, we can see our URL. So let's copy this URL and go to your JS or you can also use any of testing tool and once you are finished with your dev testing just press uh, X to shut down the local server and clear it and now we'll simply do npx wrangler deploy to deploy on Cloudflare make sure to run npx wrangler login which we just did in the start now we just need to do deploy let's wait for a bit And there you go, we have our, our WebSockets deployed. We get our URL. So just copy this URL and go to Insomnia or any similar testing tool, WebSocket request and WSS and we paste our URL, but make sure to remove HTTPS. Uh, rest everything remains as it is, try to connect. As you can see, it says connected successfully and now we can send our body so we can just say hello 
you send me hello that's the reply that we receive so switching protocol and then it's uh, connected successfully and then let's say hello i am jack and there you go whatever we are sending we are sending back with you sent me this uh and this is my first serverless websocket cloud layer workers let's see okay there you go so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys learn something new if you do like the video share with your friend by the way lots of videos popping on your right top very interesting topics covered make sure to watch those as well that's it bye bye